turn now to that much anticipated new guidance from the CDC for safely reopening schools. It includes a color coded guide for a gradual reopening as the pandemic recedes. and does not make vaccinating teachers a precondition. We get more now on the plan from CBS's Meg Oliver. Tonight, the nation's schools have their roadmap for reopening safely. It's the first science-based national strategy, according to the CDC. The agency recommending a color-coded system based on community spread of coronavirus. Schools in areas with lower transmission rates are blue and yellow, zones where in-person learning is recommended. Red zones are high transmission areas with the most restrictions. Elementary schools can remain open, while middle and high schools are recommended to go hybrid or virtual only. This is on top of safety mitigation strategies, including wearing masks, social distancing, cleaning, and contact tracing. Today is a day of hope. Randy Weingarten, president of the nation's most powerful teachers union, says it's welcome news after months of teacher protests across the country. It's going to take that kind of trust and collaboration um, as a touchstone, as a key to convincing people but it has to start with a roadmap of safety. I miss being able to see their faces. But some still aren't convinced, like pre-K teacher Adrian Jones, who refuses to return to her Philadelphia elementary school until there are more safeguards. I want to see a report that tells me that the buildings are safe to return with the ventilation, making sure that all of the other precautionary measures are in place. Roughly 20 million children have no access to in-person learning at public schools nationwide, and concerns over mental health are growing. So do you trust the school district? I do not. Maya Magithi has one child in a Philadelphia public school. She doesn't trust the district. Do you want to send your child back into school in person? I want to, but not with the given current state of things, with the pandemic and the uncertainty of our ventilation systems. Other parents told us they're encouraged by the news and want to send their kids back in person. These guidelines come as school districts like here in Philadelphia remain in a heated debate over reopening. One major sticking point, upgrading ventilation systems. The CDC said today that they suggest opening doors and windows and using fans and that upgrading ventilation systems is not a priority for reopening. Nora. An interesting point, Meg Oliver. Thank you.